Today is Martina's birthday. Hi, we'll be there in five minutes. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? After getting struck by lightning and also finding cracked bulkheads in the boat, we had to return from the Pacific Ocean back through the Panama Canal, which we had just gone through, and come to a beautiful place called Linton Bay on the Caribbean coast of Panama. Linton Bay Marina is just a fraction of the price of the marinas on the Pacific coast, so despite the $2,200 canal fee each way, we were still going to save money on the repairs of the boat. Imagine if she's here, she'd crack up and see it, us here, she'd like, oh my God. Shipyards can also be quite limited when hauling out a 26 foot wide catamaran but Linton Bay's 200 ton travel lift can make short work of it. This guy. We even had quite a few friends that we had met cruising in the Caribbean in the area, so it was great to catch up with a few familiar faces. What did we do? We flipped the dinghy in the surf. I've got no response to that, it's just fucking... After the, after the hailstorm that hit me on the first two things, the revelations, I, I have, I'm, I'm flabbergasted, I have nothing more to say. We know this story. Whoa, my guy. This was to be our home for the next few months. And despite everything that had happened to us, we were super excited to be in such a beautiful place, surrounded by lush Panamanian jungle and wildlife. Thanks, Jamie. Gracias. Even though we wanted to get stuck into the repairs, we thought it was prudent to take a few days off and get to know our surroundings a little bit. I took Martina for her first attempt at spare fishing. Yeah, the shot her first fish. <gasps> what happened to the fish, Mark? Finally, after let's say a thousand tries, I had my first lion fish. I had to practice a little bit at the beginning because I was failing. We practiced with a coconut and then I turned on that I could do it and then I was like, okay, let's try. Well, what's the story? Because I thought you were like friends with fishes and you would never shoot a fish. My lionfish are eating all the reefs, so they are an invasive species, so you need to hunt them. So that makes me feel good. I'm protecting the reef. And thank God you broke the me! It was so frustrating. <laughs> Whoa. So that was the fourth one. The lionfish just like sit there. They don't swim away or anything. They just sit there. And I was like, okay, point at it. Don't touch it with the spear and just shoot it. And like, she'd be like this far away from it. I'm and then shoot. And would miss. I'm like, how the hell? <laughs> was it your conscience telling you not to kill it? And, and... I don't know. But we had to practice with a coconut to see like, okay, check what I'm doing wrong. Like if that was the line fish, and she had the gun, it'd be like this, and she'd shoot, and it would miss. I'm like, how the fuck are you missing? It didn't make any sense. I think she was going like that when she was shooting, like, <laughs> and I'd be like, this, 
Let's kick back. back. <laughs> well done, Martina. Well done. The big dog Jamie then showed us how it was done. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Carnage. <laughs> How was your night? Uh, I couldn't go to her boat because we were too drunk. And she she was, uh, had a small kayak for one person. Yeah. And I had to come back with somebody sitting here. Oh, really? <laughs> but it was okay. But... It was a day of first as I took Martina for her first ever dinghy lesson. Who's driving, McFly? McFly? Who's driving the dinghy? How do you feel driving? Good. Which is a little pressure on the camera. Once she got the hang of it, we took off in search of some waves. We had really low expectations for what we would find, so we were stoked about what we saw. It seemed that living in Linton Bay was going to be even better than we thought. So we've just arrived at a little secret spot here, which uh, someone told us about with his surf. Um, it looks good. My friend Ilya and uh, Jean is out there as well. I'm going to paddle out, but it's probably four or five foot today. So super excited. We've got to come through that little mangrove section to get here. So it's fun. See if we can get some. Woohoo! There's something about this spot that is just beautiful. Um, the little houses, the different colors, the jungle behind and then you're just there floating in the middle of the ocean. It's just a sick spot. There is going far away. Anchoring in front of the marina is obviously free, but since the rates were so low, we decided to move into the marina for convenience for everyone. Perfect. We'll go fin to starboard side. We'll be there in five minutes. Okay. So this is home for a while? Yeah, we're going into Linton Bay. We have permission to go into the marina. We'll try to do a bunch of work in the water in the marina. Uh, Brian's been really good so far, the marina manager, so we're just dealing with him. Then we'll haul out when we're ready to jack the boat up. So yeah, it'll be nice being at the marina. We can just walk on and off the boat. There's a nice little restaurant area and really good Wi-Fi and stuff. So it could be good. Operation. Once we were all tied up, we decided to head back into the mangroves to shoot a fun little video. Let's go! So today is Martina's birthday and I messaged her sister and her sister got all of her family to send in happy birthday messages so I made a little video for her so we'll show that to her this morning hopefully she likes it Feliz cumpleaños mi amor Tengo que hablar en voz baja porque tú estás ahí Oh, 
que pases un día muy lindo, vos sabés cuánto te quiero. Hola Titson, feliz cumple. Happy birthday, ma. I love you, happy birthday. Hola Martina, feliz cumpleaños. Being a dive instructor, Martina's one request was to go diving for her birthday. And there's four crew, and we've got three sets of dive gear. So luckily, yeah. we um, this is Neil of English Shelly, you might remember from uh, us doing some jet surfing with him. He said we can borrow his gear, but it's buried under a couple of 70 kilogram spinnakers and whatnot. So we've got to go fishing through his boat, get a couple of bits of dive gear, and then go back. So. Martina doesn't really know we're here. The visibility wasn't the best that day because of the rain we had had. But at least she got to shoot another lionfish. And now we're going to go to her party at the Marina Clubhouse. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully a few people turn up. Have a good night. It was so nice to be with new and old friends for her birthday. We were all isolated in the middle of the jungle and we felt a strong sense of community out here. Everything happens for a reason, and although this was a completely unplanned turn of events, we all still had smiles on our faces. Well, maybe not the next morning. The morning after. Oh my god. Here he is. Shut your eyes. No, they're red. You hungover? You hungover? Yeah. You hungover. 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 How was your birthday? It was super fun! <laughs> what the How was your birthday? <laughs> Did you have a good time? I had an amazing time. Tune in next week when we start ripping the boat apart. From that mirror wall, we're anything else.